What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, Stacia is going to be taking over the video. And you guys know, when Stacia takes over the vlog, <laughs> it has to do with food. Yes! We are in Penang right now, and we are traveling all through Georgetown to find the best Penang dishes that were requested by most of you guys. Yeah, all for the first time. So I haven't tried any of these dishes before in the two months we've been in Malaysia, which is like almost a sin. But I wanted to save my first impressions for this video right now. If you follow us on Instagram, you know that I've tried chicken feet and durian. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> well, I got food poisoning from the chicken and I'm allergic to durian, I guess. So those two are out for today. So right now we are headed to the first spot, which is called the Hamadia restaurant on Campbell Street. And it's supposed to be the number one place for Nasi Kandar. And it's even a little bit more special than that because it is the oldest standing restaurant in all of Penang, opened in 1907, and they've been cranking out food ever since. All right, so we made it inside. We finally got our dish. This was rated one of the best nasi kandars in all of Penang. Really cool history that I found out. Uh, the term nasi kandar actually comes from nasi, meaning rice. Uh, but kandar is a bamboo or wooden stick. And the old rice hawkers, they used to have a stick behind their backs, a kandar, and they used to balance a bucket of rice on either side. So that's where the term nasi kandar came from. I asked the guy in front of me what the best thing to order was, and he said, hands down, is ayam bawang, which is this spicy, really red, fragrant chicken. And then you order the white rice with a mix of sauces. <laughs> something I could eat every day. It's so good. <laughs> the chicken itself is great. It's pretty spicy and a little bit sweet. Almost tastes like there's a hint of cinnamon or something like that. It's excellent. Now the mixed sauce. So unlike nasi lemak that's popular in KL, nasi kandar, the rice is not made with coconut milk. It's just plain white rice. And the flavor comes from all the mix of sauces that people put on it. Mm. It is so good. It's just like a really rich, deep curry flavor. A little bit spicy, but mostly sweet. You can definitely taste that there's nutmeg and cinnamon. So the chicken's excellent, but I think my favorite is the mix sauces. I don't really know how to describe it other than just like a mix of curries and it tastes like home cooking. It's comfort food to the max. It's really, really good. If you guys are from Malaysia, leave a comment down below and tell us what your favorite nasi kandar is to order. Did I try the best one or did I fail? <laughs> okay, so I could pretty much eat that nasi kandar until I was in a food coma, but I can't play favorites because I have to show you guys a lot today. I came here looking for roti chanai, which everybody's been telling me to try. It's like the main breakfast or lunch food uh, in Malaysia. They didn't have it, so I was a little bit disappointed, but the guy was nice enough to recommend to me what's called murtabak, and it's relatively similar, not the same, but it comes from the same origin of being bread fried in ghee. So this is the murtaba. It's basically like a meat stuffed pancake. Uh, it should be crispy, yep, crispy on the outside and then stuffed with meat on the inside. Onions and curry for dipping. The traditional way to eat is with your hands, so I'm gonna go for it. Oh yeah, and I can't forget kopi o, which is coffee that's lightly sweet. So I didn't really know what I was ordering. I just asked him to choose whatever he thought. I don't think there's meat inside this one, but there's definitely onions. Mm, they're good, and egg too. And then this is dal curry. So it's pretty mild and basic. It's a vegetarian based curry. Go in it. Mm. It's pretty chewy from the bread and what I believe is egg on the inside. I don't know what meal this is traditionally eaten for, but I could eat this every day for breakfast. So I don't know the individual prices, but everything you see here, the two plates and the Kopi O came to 18 ringgit 50 cents. 
about less than four US dollars for all of this. All right, so we have moved on from the nasi kandar and now we're on to meat. So meat essentially just means noodles. There are tons of different meat dishes in Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, all the Southeast Asian countries um, and it's originating as like a Hokkien dish. So we came to one of the most famous mee goreng spots on Bangkok Lane. The chef is actually traditionally Indian but speaks Hokkien as well, which is pretty cool. Um, this plate is a dry version of mee goreng, which is essentially just fried noodles with onions, shallots, uh, there's tomato, some sort of protein, I don't know which one I got. I just kind of asked them to give me whatever. <laughs> uh, topped with lettuce and a small little lime. Or a calamansi? Calamansi. It almost looks like what a stew would look like in America. It has a beautiful color from the tomatoes. Mm. And there's definitely peanut in here. It almost reminds me of like a Malaysian pad thai. It looks like the protein in here might just be like innards of an animal. Really tasty. And potatoes as well for starch. This is good. I asked for a little bit spicy. I could probably take a little spicier. Yeah, it's great. It reminds me of like a home cooked stew, but just like a peanut sauce version. It's really good. Whew. That was pretty tasty. It wasn't my favorite noodle dish I've ever had, but it was really good anyway. Uh, but next, we are going to taste one of the most famous dishes in all of Malaysia. This restaurant has been featured on TV, in magazines, and is considered one of the best soups slash noodle dishes in the entire world. So the other day we went to Kaloxi Temple. If you haven't seen that video yet, definitely go watch it. It was an awesome day. But right at the bottom of the temple is the most famous Assam Laksa place. And we'll take you there right now. So this is like the famous laksa place in Penang. This is where Anthony Bourdain came to eat his laksa. And it, he said, I think it's one of the best dishes he's ever had in his life. It's right here, right now, what I'm about to eat. So I'm pumped. It's a sour tamarind based soup with fish ingredients. So what I've been told has rice noodles, a ton of chili for spicy, and the sour comes from tamarind. Um, there's also a version curry laksa, which is a little bit more sweet with coconut milk. I don't know if both coconut milk and tamarind are in this soup, but I'm ready to find out and I'm excited to try it. So there's a broth, but it's pretty murky. Wow. That's incredible. Really? Whoa. It's so good. It's so sour from the tamarind but spicy from the chilies. I think if I'm not mistaken, there's some lemongrass flavor in here too for floral notes. And these here are my favorite noodles. These are thick rice noodles. They're phenomenal. Mm. Wow, this is amazing. It's so fresh. There's fresh herbs like mint, there's fresh red onion, these chilies that are super spicy on the palate. And then everything kind of cools down from the sourness of the tamarind. This is one of the best things I have ever eaten. Hats off to Anthony Bourdain. Once again, may you rest in peace. I would say A plus Penang, A plus. <laughs> we have made it to the famous Teochew Chendol. Uh, initially, it started as a roadside stand in 1936, and it's been in the family ever since. So although this is the original Chendol roadside stand, the business has grown astronomically. They have franchising, there's stores in malls, in Penang and KL, and I think all over Malaysia as well. So you'll see this brand of Chendol absolutely everywhere. So if you do see one, make sure you stop in and try it, although this is the original, and we had to bring you guys here for that authentic taste. We met a local friend named Faiz. He was actually the one that recommended to me the amazing Nasi Kandar in the last place we were at. We stumbled upon him on the street in front of the Chendol place and he brought us here. Hi guys. 
I always thought that you had to stand in line right at the original roadside stand, but Faiz brought us inside to the restaurant where you can sit at a table and just order your chendol and it's served to you. So you don't have to stand out in like the 95 degree heat. So that's what we're doing right now. Chendol is basically a shaved ice dessert that is doused in coconut milk. And this one in particular uses kidney beans that have been cooked for four hours. Um, they make all the sauces here in-house fresh daily. And this green stuff, these are pandan flavored noodles. So I think that's all that's in here. I guess the way to do it is to mix everything up and get all the flavors and try it all at once. So I'm gonna resist the urge to plunge face first into this because I'm so hot. <laughs> and I'm gonna try eating it. You guys know that I don't like beans that much in my dessert, but I'm gonna give it another shot. Mm. That's good. The coconut milk makes it. I love anything with coconut in it. Um, it almost tastes like coffee. Why is that? Because of the uh, syrup? The syrup. So the syrup in here, along with the coconut milk together, kind of almost makes it taste like a latte. So I'm going to make Ryan try it, guys. Ryan's going to try something for the first time. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're going to have the, the green stuff as well. I don't, I don't know about the green uh, stuff, man. <laughs> the green stuff looks like worms. <laughs> there's, a, there's a green one in there. Oh, there it is. It's very different. It has, I like it. It has a different flavor to it. I can't pinpoint what that flavor is though. It's good. It's I, I gotta uh, give it. Oh yeah, guys. It's good. Give Ryan a big thumbs up because this is pretty much the first food that he's tried in Malaysia. So what do you prefer better, this or the ABC? So I like the ABC because it has peanuts in it. So I'm missing like a little bit of the salt component because this is just mostly all sweet. Um, also ABC was just more packed shaved ice. This is almost like a soupier consistency. The flavor of this chandal is worlds above what the ABC was though. So I am into this. <laughs> So that's about it for this food Ooh, tour. Cool, my gosh. I think if I eat one more bite, Ryan's gonna have to carry me down the street to get into the grab to get home. <laughs> but everything was so good today. I was really impressed with Penang food. Um, I think my favorite though was like the mixed curries over rice. There was just something about all those flavors mixed together that did it for me. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know which dish out of all of those I tried today was your favorite. And a big shout out to Faiz for showing us the ropes and leading us to the best secret spots around. Love we it. really appreciate it. It was super nice meeting you. And uh, maybe we'll catch you in the comments. So that's about it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.